As we move on in Leviticus, specifically chapters 5 through 7, this week 7, day 5 of our Bible reading plan for the year, we see more instructions about offerings, and specifically sin offerings. These are not just about being thankful to the way God uh, offers and gives to us over and over again, but it's a recognition that we are not perfect. Again, God is God and we are not. But it's not just about our shortcomings, but often our sin is a result of rebelliousness. It's a result of our failure to trust God in all things. And our sin is not without consequence. And so the offerings here help us to recognize that sin indeed does have consequences, and often it has consequences in the relationships of our lives. When we rebel against a parent, or we rebel against a spouse or a friend, that causes damage in the relationship we have with them. Sin in our lives causes damage to our relationship with God. Now, the problem is that we as human beings don't have the capability within ourselves to right the wrong. We can try to make reparation. That's really what offering here is. We can try to demonstrate that we're sorry about what happened. But ultimately, the price to restore the relationship is actually going to come from God. God in God's own perfection recognizes that because we've been rebellious, because we've been sinful, there is a consequence and damage to our relationship, but also there's a failure on our part to be able to fix it entirely. And here is the great gift of God. God loves us so much. God loves us so much that he sent his only son to be a savior to us, to pay the price of our consequences for our sins. What a glorious and wonderful word for us today.